there, uh, this leads us into uh, uh, what's called, known as a convention. Because uh, you, uh, what exactly is a convention? Can you give us examples of that so people understand? Yeah, it's basically what is a convention. Yeah, it's basically a coordinate system, and it um, it comes out of the fact that there is no objective way to synchronize two clocks that everybody will agree on. At best, you can get a group of observers with a common property to agree that those two clocks are synchronized. And um, so a convention, in this case, it's it's basically a coordinate system. You know how in, in uh, maybe in algebra you plotted, you know, X and Y? You can, you can plot any position on a graph with X and Y. That tells you how far over and how far up. Um, then later, if you take more advanced algebra, you might learn polar coordinates where you have R distance out and then theta. And you can you can measure the same you, you can use either system to to plot a point on a graph and plot the same points using either x and y or r and theta those are two different coordinate systems they're conventions and uh, it's the same way with stuff in space except we have x y and z we can go up and down now okay so in and out up and down and t time so if if, if i were to tell you okay let's let's have a bible study later I would need to give you, you know, let's let's meet in person and have a Bible study. I would need to give you four pieces of information, X, Y, Z, and the time. And that would that would tell you, right? So X, Y, and Z, X and Y might be, well, at the at the intersection of this street and that street, that's where I live. And Z would be, I'm on the third floor, and let's meet at, at eight o'clock. That's the time, T. Okay. And there's different ways of doing that. And so that's really what uh, ASK is, the anisotropic synchrony convention, is it's a system of marking. X, Y, Z, and T. And it's identical to the, the to the system Einstein used for X, Y, and Z, but T is different. And so basically it's a way of, of marking time. And one of the things that Einstein did was he said, okay, given that we can't objectively synchronize two clocks to where everybody will agree, maybe we can get a group of people to agree. And so he developed what's called the Einstein synchrony convention or isotropic synchrony convention. He said, let's, we, we know the round trip speed of light. Let's assume that from my perspective, light goes the same speed that way as it does this way. <laughs> and if you did that, you could, you could synchronize two clocks by sending a light beam out and then reflecting it back. And let's say the total time takes two seconds, right? Send the light out to a mirror, bounce it back. And that, the whole thing took two seconds. Einstein said, let's assume that uh, it took one second to get, get there and one second to get back, then you could set that other clock over by the mirror uh, to be one second uh, ahead of the time sent by this one, and then they would be synchronized. Now, Einstein agrees that's just a convention because somebody else who's moving relative to them would, would not agree that those clocks are synchronized. And Einstein also pointed out that you don't have to have the speed of light be the same in this direction as that direction. Uh, you could have it take all two seconds to get there and no time to come back. You could have it take no time to get there and two seconds to get back. And people will say, why would it be different? But they're missing the point. It's not It's not a question of what's light doing. Light just does what it does. It doesn't, it doesn't know anything. Um, it's just a question of how we synchronize clocks. And there's no way to do it that everybody in the universe will agree. So what, what Einstein did and what most physicists do today is they'll assume that the speed of light is the same that way as this way. And that tells them how to define clocks, like how to define what si constitutes synchronized clocks. Basically, they're reading the same time at the same time. But you don't have to do it that way. And Einstein pointed that out, that you could do it another way. So anisotropic synchrony, synchrony convention is a way of synchronizing clocks where light, when it's going outward, moves at one half C. And when it's moving toward an observer, it's instant. It takes no time at all. And right. you can do that. And all the physics works that way. And... Um, basically, my argument is that's what the Bible's using when it marks events, because that convention was used by all ancient societies. It still makes sense today. The other okay. convention is useful when you want to do physics problems because the math's easier. All right. I don't want to move too far ahead. You're getting further ahead than I am right at the moment. Uh, but um, uh, I do want to ask a, a few things about that on the convention. Well, a passage of Einstein, of his primary book on relativity that you you often cite is uh, um, uh, a, a passage where he says that uh, that the that the speed uh, referencing the speed of light says it's not a supposition nor a hypothesis about the physical nature of light, but about uh, but a stipulation of which I choose of my own free will. 
So yes. the 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 object of it is that okay, and this is something that they confuse a lot of people because a lot of people will attack it like you're saying something against the nature of light or the universe is just not that way, and and you're not actually attacking uh, natural laws. You're not saying that the round trip speed of light is different. Um, in fact, right. you've actually said the opposite. You you accept that the round trip speed of light will always equal out c. Um, mm -hmm. and, but uh, uh, but you're you're arguing exactly what Einstein argued that it is a stipulation. It's a way which we synchronize those two clocks. Correct. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Einstein recognized that that the one way speed of light is not a property of nature, as as, as you pointed out. It's it's a stipulation. It's a it's it's not a hypothesis, but a stipulation, which I can make of my own free will in order to arrive at a definition of simultaneity. How, how do we decide that these two clocks are really synchronized? I pick a one-way speed of light, and that tells me whether or not they're synchronized. That's how you do it. And Einstein chose, he, he usually chose to make it the same speed in both directions. That's why we call it the Einstein synchrony convention, because if you do it that way, the math is easier. But it's 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 a mathematical shortcut. But there's no, there's no objective... It's not like the Einstein synchrony convention and the is is more objectively true than the ask synchrony convention. They're both con they're both conventions. They're both like coordinate systems, like polar coordinates versus x and y, equi equator um, uh, rectangular coordinates. So uh, it's just a question of which one is more convenient for the situation.